Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So according to Microsoft, Secure Boot is a feature that ensures that your computer boots using verified firmware and a trusted bootloader. And in regards to Windows 11, Secure Boot is one of the hardware requirements together with the TPM, Trusted Platform Module, that Microsoft pushed to what they are saying to make more devices more secure. And Secure Boot and TPM are two of the hardware requirements that have been met with a lot of debate in regards to updating to Windows 11. Now, Secure Boot certificates are valid according to Microsoft for 15 years. Now, because of this, Microsoft has now announced that the first batch of Windows Secure Boot certificates that were issued in 2011 is set to expire in June next year. 2026 and Microsoft now has updated a support article to warn users about the so-called consequences. Now according to Microsoft and the FAQs on this post, the expiring certificates affect any device still relying on the original 2011 set. That means for most Windows 11 and supported Windows 10 PCs the renewal process will happen automatically via Windows Update. So if we head to some of the general Secure Boot FAQs. And by the way, I'll link this post in the description if you'd like some more information. And this is quite a bit going on here in regards to those questions being answered. Now just to go through one or two of these FAQs for the purpose of this video. When should Secure Boot Certificates be updated? It's best to update Secure Boot Certificates before June 2026, that expiration date as we have been talking about. And if your device is managed by Microsoft and sharing diagnostic data with Microsoft, then the Secure Boot Certificates will be updated automatically when available. And for most users, that would be the case. Nothing to worry about. These certificates would be updated automatically through an up-and-coming Windows update on your Windows Update page. The next one is how are Secure Boot certificates updated through Windows Update, as we have just said. And then what happens if Secure Boot certificates aren't updated before expiration? The computer will start Windows normally, even if the Secure Boot certificates are not updated. The computer will eventually stop receiving certain security updates from Microsoft, including Boot Manager and Secure Boot Component Security updates. This will put the device at risk of boot kits that could take full control of the computer. And then just the last one to look at in this section, what happens to Windows 10 systems after extended security update of October 14, 2025? Microsoft says... To get the update, you would have to sign up to the ESU program, Extended Security Updates program. Or if you have a supported LTSC version of Windows 10, it will continue to get security updates until the LTSC expiry date. And obviously, if you are not updating to the ESU, then according to Microsoft, you won't be getting any updates anyway, so it really doesn't apply. And just to take note of something. The issue does become a little bit serious when dealing with firmware resets where some users could find their PCs not wanting to boot if the system defaults back to an older boot manager without the 2023 secure boot certificate. So if we head back to the FAQs, Microsoft answers that question. If Windows is already using the 2023 signed boot manager, but the firmware is reset, Secure Boot will block the boot process. To fix this, you need to reapply the 2023 certificate to the firmware's DB using the recovery application. This is done by creating a recovery USB, then booting the affected device from that USB to restore the missing certificate. And you can click on this link to find out about Microsoft's official guidance for updating Windows install media. But personally, I think that if you have a supported version of Windows, then according to Microsoft, those certificates will be updated automatically in a future Windows update before 
they expire in June 2026. But just wanted to make you aware because I've actually seen a couple of announcements in release notes um, for updates that have been rolling out over the last couple of months where Microsoft is highlighting the Windows Secure Boot Certificate expiration. So I just wanted to put it out there to keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.